Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Wi-Fi is not working on your device. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest would be if you are on Windows 10, open up the start menu, type in network reset. Best match to go back with network reset right above system settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Underneath network reset, this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the reset now button. It's going to ask, are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. Close out of any open programs and applications. And then once you're done, you just want to go ahead and manually restart your computer because Windows will automatically do that within five minutes. So I'm just going to initiate that process here and just restart the system. Okay guys, so once we are back up and running here, we're going to go ahead and just check and see if our network is operating as it should. So go ahead and try and open up your web browser and see if that's resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue here, another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu. So this would probably be more applicable for Windows 7 and Windows 8 devices too, because they don't have a network reset option. But anyway, underneath best match, should come back with command prompt, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now the first command we're going to type in here, you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, so W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset, another space catalog, so again N-E-T-S-H, then you want to do a space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset, R-E-S-E-T space catalog, C-A-T-A-L-O-G, hit enter on your keyboard, uh, hold off on restarting your computer for the moment here, because now we're going to go type in N-E-T-S-H, space I-N-T, space I-P-V-4, space reset, another space reset dot log, so again N-E-T-S-H, space I-N-T, space I-P-V-4, space reset, another space reset dot log, hit enter on your keyboard, once you have that done and it should say everything's okay, you want to go ahead and just close out of here with it just restarting your computer, see if that has resolved the problem. One further thing you can try here would be to open up the start menu. Again, once you've restarted, you've tried to open up a browser and you're still having the problem, would be to type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager right above control panel. So go ahead and left click on that. So expand your network adapter section, so go double click on that. And now locate your network connection adapter in here. Do not look for the mini ports. You just want to select your main network connection in here. Right click on it. Select uninstall device. Select uninstall. 
You will need to restart your computer at this point. You probably will have to enter back in your Wi-Fi credentials too. And then that should hopefully again be able to resolve the problem. So you will need to enter in your Wi-Fi credentials if I wasn't already clear about that. No matter if we're doing a network reset or whatnot. Because now you just basically cleaned everything out. So you probably will need to enter in your network credentials every time you restart or reset your network connection here. So I just want to put that out there. It shouldn't really be a big deal. So it should be pretty obvious that when it's asking for your credentials when you're signing in, they should just provide them. And that should pretty much be about it, guys. So again, do hope that I was able to help you out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.